Good morning, welcome to a morning review. This is Kim Watson speaking on Monday, the 29th of June. Looking at the euro dollar first, and as you can see, we've uh, seen it was a huge gap, uh, it moved down over 180 pips on the open uh, yesterday evening. Now, the question is uh, who's trading this? What's, what's driving it, really, I suppose? I've, I, I do wonder if many of the uh, commercials have already started pricing in uh, an exit. So, seeing this does make me wonder if we just see it filled in the gap field. Uh, the reaction to the Greek referendum. Uh, well, I thought we might have seen that Friday evening. So, it's it's a bit of an odd movement here. So, there is the potential we could see this uh, move filled. Uh, if we don't, well, sell sides. Uh, we can only really look at prior lows, 108 and things like this in terms of possible downside today. I think because we come down so far, it may just consolidate where we are. We do see some significant selling though, uh, perhaps the 1.09 area, the whole numbers in previous lows then at 1.08, uh, was that 108, uh, only hold the cursor still would be good, uh, 17, somewhere in that region, uh, maybe uh, where we'll head for. At the moment, though, it's looking like it may try and at least fill part of that gap. It's possibly a big ask, but uh, as I say, it may be driven on uh, uh, personal uh, individuals' money as opposed to uh, institutional money. In which case, it may be uh, seen as a, a point where these people are sold, put stops in, and do we see a, some different stop squeezes? Okay, so poss potential uh, today is the possibly getting back to its daily pivot fill in the gap it may be a big big ask but we have uh, probably got targets above us at the 21 34 uh, even the uh, monthly pivot there at 1.09 maybe targets to the upside no so I'm just looking significant news I don't think any news is going to make a lot of difference at this juncture uh, these obviously the Greeks are going to be voting I think it's this coming week, uh, late week or the weekend, uh, coming weekend. So there's not um, probably too much that's going to make a significant difference from this. Certainly today we've got the uh, prelim CPI for uh, Germany, Spanish flash CPI. There's some couple numbers coming out. Uh, the German uh, CPI uh, comes out uh, in 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 uh, group by group or state by state. So. Uh, it could take some time and it's normally about midday we see normal figures or the whole figures so it's a bit of a funny old one there um, not a lot else uh, apart from comments and any other rhetoric that uh, occurs so looking at the uh, pound dollar um, it also gapped down and it's, still, it's got a couple of things to fill and I'm sort of looking at this if we, if we do see a break of this uh, uh, 50 moving average which was pretty flat if we can get back up and break that sort of level maybe we'll push on towards the uh, daily pivot fill the gap which above it and maybe any sort of rally may see us running back towards Friday's highs and that weekly pivot that it's, uh, it's maybe a bit of an ask at the moment the way things are but that's certainly potential dolly yen at the moment looking at this and it's well again we saw a gap but the, surprisingly we saw the gap the opposite way we uh, effectively we saw the yen getting stronger against the dollar and it may be it's just seen as a, a bit of a safety currency sometimes and uh, we've seen the gap the opposite so now uh, this uh, again well if it does manage to uh, well, if we see a bit of weakening going here uh, we may get back towards that weekly pivot and also fill the gap as um, to the downside if it sells off if we see the dollar selling off effectively we could see the 50 ma uh, as a potential target there a little else here at the moment it's uh, not diverged or anything from this where where we are from the alley's not really showing us just showing the gap quite clearly we've got the weekly and uh, daily pivots all sitting above us there which as i say could provide some uh, it's just with a gap and everything that you normally see, expect to see these filled quite early on. But uh, we'll have to wait and see here. Need to probably wait for a signal to see that it's pushing that way because if it starts breaking down, as I say, the daily 50 is not that far away. And it's got out a bit out of sync with uh, the other currencies at the moment. Okay, and finally, let's look at the Aussie dollar. 
another one which is uh, it gapped down but it managed to through the Asian session fill the gap straight away uh, pretty much so um, and uh, it's coming back off again it's come back off that sort of those levels again where could it go now? well it's already hit sort of uh, the targets I'd have looked for early part of the week the weekly pivot the daily pivot today already rallies well we could go back towards the early 50 maybe push in towards Thursday's uh, levels which uh, were very consolidated um, to the downside well certainly looks like that uh, S1 area was being tested a little bit more and we could run back 76 is quite a key area there's, there's quite a lot of uh, support from orders below these levels so any push down to that sort of way uh, generally sees a bit of buying going on okay uh, news as I say news already mentioned that there's nothing much else out so uh, wish you a great day bye for now